Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder. Now I've been using PEX and polybutylene pipe ever since it was made almost, but I've never seen how it's made. So I've come along to the Pipe Life factory in Cork in Ireland to have a look at the whole production and testing process. Something I've never seen and I bet you haven't either. Roger, how are you? Welcome. All right, okay. nice to see you. You got the sunshine. It's brilliant. <laughs> That's unusual for you, isn't it? No, it is. The days we're having. Lovely. So what are you going to show me then? Uh, we're going to walk down the factory floor. I'm just going to give you the run through. You need the way, my friend. The material come in from the, from the outside, yeah. the silo as we saw. And from here then it gets distributed to individual lines. So we got 12 lines and each one will be different. So you got your PEX, you got your PB, they come in and they go distribute it right to the end. And you can actually see it going through the, through you the can, pipe. You can see it moving through the pipework mm -hmm. as it gets up. So it just sucks mm -hmm. up and makes a lot of noise on the way, but and then just swap them around as you want. As we need them, it depends on, we have a couple of silos out there. So sometimes they go empty. And if they do, we just move it to the next silo. Yeah, it, yeah. And they're all labeled to specifically, we know which silo yeah. goes where, what material is in each one. But so this is just basically a manifold. Just a manifold yeah, yeah, for everything yeah. to be distributed in the right direction and all labeled to whatever line it needs to go to. Okay, so this is our PEX line. Yeah. Very same as the other side. In theory, the same. But the this is a new machine we've actually installed. So it has, again, a lot more intuitive, a lot more touch screen, and it's a lot more, it's quicker reaction. So it allows us to be able to see more temperature profiles easier and the flow. This is very similar to the new line, the new PB line, the new Easy Lay line that we've installed. You can see exactly the ratios. So everything is measured precisely. So for a certain amount, this one here has 93.5% material and 6.5% adhesive. So, the other, so it makes up 100%, so if you change one, the other would automatically change. So you'll see that we have to have a, a certain thickness of adhesive and barrier has to be a certain, so you are talking 1.6 mic, 168 microns thereabouts. So to ensure that we keep that ratio for our wall thickness doesn't get too big or too small, this will ensure that a particular speed, a particular line, and a particular weight per meter is set, so that it can't go over. The machine will alarm it to tell you you're going over or it will self-adjust so if an operator comes and makes a miscalculation the machine itself will self-adjust the initial setup will probably take about 30 minutes to go through and you get all your calibrations we do all our tests to ensure that everything is working everything is going through where all our wall measurements are correct yeah. outside diameter wall thickness everything is correct print is okay if the coilers are ready all the full test all the way through so as soon as we're up and running, we just keep it up and running. We have all the tests in place that do the war warnings so if things go off, it'll warn or we can see if walls are starting to get thicker or lower and we can then react before it becomes a problem or before it affects the pipe itself. So this is a shedding screen, basically it tells the extruder what temperatures to go to, how much uh, material kilogram per meter we want to use. So depending on the speed of the line, We'll have a different gravimetric will actually tell it at a particular speed you have to have a certain amount of material going through and it has to have a certain temperature as well to make sure it's, it melts correctly and it can form correctly. You've got temperature profiles, so 180 degrees, 170 degrees and then different barrels. So along the way the material comes through from here so it's heated all the way through until it gets to the very end where it's nice and malleable and it can just flow through. So this is the extruder, this is the head. So that's hot. This is very hot. We've got two or three different feeds in. So that arm there, yeah. and that arm there, are adding a layer every time. Two different layers. One is DDOH, and the other is barrier. Okay. So you got one layer coming through, and they kind of form over it like a sleeve over the sock. Forms over the outside, and then they got the outer layer again. And straight away, then it comes in, and it starts to form it. So this is the form box, which ensures there's a hole in the middle, and it ensures it only comes out to exactly what we want, which is a 15.25, and it goes all the way through. So that forms the pipe the full length, as they're going through the waters, circulating around it all the time, cooling it. So this is our vision system. This yeah. tests for visual inspection on the pipework. So as it comes through, it passes through three cameras, all lit up, so you can see exactly what sort of, if there's imperfections or there's something wrong or scratching or anything like that, it will be caught at this particular point. There's three cameras on it at all times, so you get full exposure, 360 degrees. And if there's anything at all, it will alarm 
and tell you, and it will take an instant snapshot picture. And this, at the moment, this line is doing 23 meters per minute. So yeah. it's taking about 30 pictures every half a second. So about 60 pictures a Blimey. second is what it's taking at all times. So if there is a fault, it'll take that snapshot and we'll have a meter mark exactly where this happens and we'll be able to trace it exactly where the problem is and be able to cut it out within a couple of centimeters. Okay, yep, there's your error. I'll get able to find it. The system, be, the computer itself will show the line as it's going through. So you can monitor at all times. You can see the pipe. If you wanted to spend an hour sitting there watching pipe yeah, go through, yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if there's anything at all, so if there's a, any sort of contaminant, a yeah. granule that went through, or a fly that lands on the pipe and decides to oh, go through, really? we'll take a picture of that fly and be able to highlight it and follow it right through. So there's no flies on pipe life then? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Every product has a different code. Whoa. And then the code has the traceability, as you see. Yeah. So it's the time, the date, the stamp, what line it was made on. So we can trace it right back to exactly who was working on the line, what time it was working at, what line it was made from, and on particular date as well. Full traceability. Fantastic. And also there's a product code on every pipe as well. This tells the wall thickness, the ultrasonic. So the, the idea of the water, it's like a submarine. It's pinged from it. Yeah, and as soon yeah. as it hits the pipe, it bounces back. So the water, it's testing it from all four sides. So top, you can see there, one, two, yeah, three, four. Yeah, yeah. So we got a full coverage of the wall thickness. So it'll measure, it hits the wall, and as soon as it hits the air on the inside of the pipe, it bounces back. So that's how it determines the wall thickness. So we got 1.66, so you got 0 0.01 of a millimeter measurement in it, which is very good. So we can see our level. We got a tolerance, max and minimum, and we have to comply depending on the product. So this one is set to 1.7, so everything in and around that range. Yeah, this right. one, this is for the outside diameter. So it works like a scanner on the in the shopping it actually there's a full circle around the outside of it and measures it at all times and that tells us the outside is 15.24 again 0 0.01 of a millimeter yeah, yeah. of measurement and it's live as well yeah. so that one there is reading about 360 measurements a second and that one is about the same so it's recording it all the time all the data as you can see from the graph is all recorded and all in there so this is 15 millimeter pipe yeah. as we would buy it yeah, yeah. and it's 0.2 15.252627. So, so, quarter of a millimetre yeah. tolerance. A tolerance. And what happens is it'll cool. So at this stage, it's still warm. Yeah. So when it gets onto the drum and it's brought up onto different coil lengths and whatever else, it'll have shrunk down a bit, tiny bit, probably 0.2, it'll really? be 15 millimetre. Really? That's where you get it. Yeah. So they're all, really? always, all the time kind of moving. And so you've got to allow for that. Well, yeah, the tolerance is there. We, we know our, over, historically, we know our yeah. kind of tolerance. But, but does now. that change according to the weather or anything? Cause, no, no. Because I know some extrusions, they do, don't they? If, yeah, they if have they to, have to adjust it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we tool the pipe the as humidity. cool as we can. All the cooling baths all the way yeah. down. 30, 40 kilometers of pipe work. That's incredible. Depending on the size. 30, 40 kilometers. Kilometers of pipe work, start to finish. Right. Incredible. Yeah. So this is our new machine. We have a new extension being built at the moment. So this and the other Easy Lay extruder is going to be put in there. We'll have a dedicated Easy Lay line. This isn't going to be cheap, is it? All this you're investing in this stuff. But so go on, tell me how much this would cost. Half a million euros? Too far off that. You wouldn't get much change out of it. All right. Oh, right. Okay. You but once this thing's up and running, this is running out pipe 24 six days. Yeah. As demand comes, yeah. it'll move to 24 yeah. seven as well, no doubt. One of those machines, you set it off, you don't go near it again. Really? And it does exactly what That's it lovely. says. That's lovely, yeah. It's perfect, yeah. it means we can double our output now as well, which is great. Yeah, brilliant. Keep doubling it. Yeah. This is the Easy Lay PB. Yeah. Exactly what was down below. So they've rolled it up to they've here. rolled it up to here. So we have yeah. maybe eight or 10 drums of it. Yeah. Of different material comes through here, we connect it back up again, gets uncoiled into specific lengths. So if you're looking for 25 meter, 50 meter, 100 meter, we'll take it through here. And it goes through this uncoiling and gets wrapped. There's another sensor inside, metal detector sensor, so any uh, joints or contaminants or anything that, that was highlighted down below is brought up. It's highlighted to the guys here, rather than ah, stop the drum and take it off. Got it. We so this it is the point where you pull it out? Yeah, we pull it out here. Yeah, exactly. chuck it in the skin. So the guys below have a check sheet as well. Yeah. It says at a particular meterage, we took a sample, because we take a sample every few hours as well, to ensure that what we're getting yeah. and what we're reading yeah. and everything is calibrated. Yeah. So that's where you have a joint coming through. Yeah. And the guys, the operators will stop the machine at a particular meterage. It comes through here, we do a foil wrap first to get the outside shape. And then it's put through the final external wrapper to give it the brand. 
So depending on it's a 50 meter, 100 meter, or 25 meter. Clever machines. Well, Com yeah. Nobody working on them. That's it. There's a guy yeah. on the end here. And just but that's it. it. Put it up to its own. So yeah. Starting, you yeah. set it in motion, you set it going, and off it goes. Start to just finish. Just keep going. Very little interaction needed. Amazing. And that's at the very end, then, depending on the customer, if he wants 20 coils or 50 coils, we put, we wrap it And that's each. where your orders are done now. Exactly. So that's going out to merchants. Exactly. That's going out to them. So we get it wrapped, everything gets secured onto the pallet. Yeah. Put on the truck and away it goes. Lovely. This is all very impressive, but I've used all the other major brands. Can you tell me hand on art, is yours as good as theirs? Yeah, ours complies to the same standards that everyone else does, BS7291. And that's why I'm going to take you in now to show you where we do all our testing and ensure we comply like everybody else. Some of the standards, like everybody else, that we have to comply to are the cut mark for the BSI. Yeah. We also have, we're RAS approved, yeah. like everybody else. And our product is 50 year guarantee as well. On it, which some of them don't have that. That's so all. what kind of testing, in order to get these standards, achieve these standards, what kind of testing do you have to carry out on we the carry pipe? carry various different ones. We do a, a compression test, pressure testing, and elongation testing, all of which have to, we have to do in order to comply to BS 721. Right, so you have, to, you, you have to crush it, stretch it out? Stretch it, kind of yeah, thing. and there's a standard we have to stretch it to to make yeah. sure that the pipe will withstand the same sort of pressure, yeah. heat and everything so else. So what you're telling me is your pipe is as good as all those other major brands and that it. I've mentioned that I've used, you, yeah. know, and, and, you know, they're yeah. all out there, everybody knows who they are. And we test to the exact same standards that they do. So our pipe is exactly the same as theirs. Their fittings are the same as ours, our pipe will fit in with their pipe as well. Right, so we can use all those fittings on your pipe, I'll obviously, pipe which well. is sometimes, I see plumbers that don't understand that you can swap yeah. fittings around. Well, if they have a van oh. full of fittings and everything yeah, else, our absolutely. pipe will work with yeah, it just like yeah, everybody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I've got this now. You're telling me that it's as good, it covers all the same standards, basically it's the same pipe, if yeah, you like. Same fittings, It, it has right? all the same fittings it fits. If I'm a plumber and I'm looking at it, I think the only thing I'm thinking now is what I did think when I first saw it, is why is it cheaper than all those other ones? That's the thing that rang alarm bells with me because I was naturally thinking, if it's cheaper, it can't be as good. But mm. you're telling me it is as good. Is it as good? Yeah, so, exact same products, exact same pipe. So it seems to me a bit of a no-brainer. Yeah. So there you are, I've completed my trip around the Pipe Life factory and I've learned quite a lot. After using pipes all those years, half that stuff I didn't even know. The other thing I didn't know is that there were so many colours of pipe. I mean, what's red pipe all about, for goodness sake? Well, apparently, it's the conduit. When they're wiring up the wind farms, that's what they use. So that's a growth industry. And there's so many colours, such variety in pipes, that it makes me think I've led a little bit of a sheltered life, just grubbing around under the floorboards with grey and white pipe, when there's a whole world out there waiting for me to discover it. I'm Roger Pisby, thanks very much for watching and come back soon.